I have just over three pounds of lean ground beef. This is 85.15. To that, we are going to add some fresh garlic. I just use this KitchenAid garlic press. I love it. Just squeeze it and then cut this off. I have two eggs. I'm going to put them in. I'm adding in a packet of onion soup mix. You can use any brand. If you don't like onions, you can skip this part, but it does add a lot of flavor. I'm going to add in salt and pepper. Beef is very bland, so be sure that you season it enough. Six tablespoons of milk. and two-thirds cup of panko. Now we're just gonna mix this all up. We're gonna cook up our patties. I just sprayed lightly with some cooking spray. I don't want it greasy. So we're gonna just form our patties. Then we're just gonna put it in our pan. We're not gonna be cooking all the way through. We're just searing the outside. We're going to flip these over now. I don't have my heat on high because I don't want them to get too crispy on the bottom. So they're just getting lightly browned. While my patties are cooking, I'm going to slice up mushrooms and onions for the sauce. Onions for the sauce. I'm using my chopper from Aldi. I love this. Let me show you what an awesome job this chopper does. Look at that. Our patties are done as far as I'm going to take them in the pan. I'm going to put them on a drain rack because I want all that grease to just drip down. I don't want a greasy sauce. saute our vegetables for our sauce. I added in about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add in my mushrooms. If you want to, you can skip this step and add them raw to the crock pot or the baking dish that you're going to be making this Salisbury steak in. I like to saute them a little bit beforehand. I'm also going to add in the onions. Look at my butter dish. Isn't it adorable? Can you see it? This is from Walmart. I like it because it has a lid and you put the butter in it versus, let me see, versus having a lid on top where it gets mixed into the butter on the plate. I love it. So I have a baking pan here. I sprayed it with some cooking spray. It helps prevent the stuff sticking on the sides. Our mushrooms and onions are cooked now. I'm gonna add them to the bottom of the pan. While I'm layering the steaks onto the mushrooms and onions, I'm gonna just put my beef broth 
and packet of beef gravy into a pan just to bring it to a simmer. I'm gonna add them onto the bed of mushrooms and onions. Add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and four tablespoons of ketchup. Just eyeball it. Now we're just going to pour the sauce over top. Just give it a quick whisk to get everything incorporated. I'm going to cover the pan with some foil. And I'm going to put it in the oven. While my steaks are cooking, I'm going to prepare my potatoes for mashed potatoes. I'm just using these small yellow potatoes. You don't need to peel them. The skin is very soft and tender. So I just cut them up, put them in some salted water, and then just mash them up like that. salted water in there. I'm going to cover it and let it cook. Okay, the potatoes are done now. I like to add cream cheese to my mashed potatoes. So I'm using some of this Philadelphia cream cheese with chives. I'm going to add that in. This makes it so creamy. I'm going to add in some butter. I don't have any measurements. I just add it in and adjust where needed. I'm going to add in some black pepper. And I'm not going to add any salt right now because I added in with my water and I don't want them too salty. So I'm going to mix this up and then see if it needs more salt. Tastes good. So now I'm going to put these in my Instant Pot Aura to keep warm. You can make your potatoes creamier if you want. I'm leaving these a little more stiff because we are having gravy with the Salisbury steak. So we can put that on top. So I'm just going to put this in here and keep it on warm. Okay, our veg tonight, we're going to do some broccoli with some garlic and pesto. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the garlic in. We'll let the garlic cook a little bit, release some of its flavor. I'm gonna add in the broccoli. Add some salt and pepper. Give it a mix. Some pesto. Mix it up a little bit. Gonna turn the heat down a little bit and just let that cheese melt and I'm gonna get out the Salisbury steak while that's doing that now that we took this out of the oven I'm gonna take the steaks out of the pan just put them on a plate I want to thicken up the juice I'm 
I'm going to take about a tablespoon of cornstarch and put it in some water and stir it up. We're going to thicken our sauce with this. You can see. So once it comes up to a boil, we'll add our cornstarch in. Okay, we're going to add it in now. Give it a little bit of a stir. Okay, as you can see, it's thickening. So once it's thick, you can pour it back over your steaks. And then we're going to get ready to plate up. I will leave the recipe linked in the description box below if you're interested in making this recipe. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I look forward to the next one. Bye.